Armstrong, who's on the ball. Jaime Moreno and Armstrong just had words a moment ago. I talked to Michael and how. Uh, and how's it today? And he had mentioned, I mean, he was a former player. He won the national championship in college at Indiana U. He understands what they're up against. Indiana U, he understands what they're up against. He said, you know, we, I like the way my team plays, but we got to get through the first 15, 20 minutes. We know they're going to pressure. He watched the game the other night against New York. DC pressures three quarters of the field. So far, they look good. A little flick by Emilio, pardon me, by Moreno. This is Emilio, and he's put D.C. in front. Four minutes, the magic of Moreno, the finishing of Emilio. And he's just shaking his head, said, I can't go any further. He's got that groin that he's holding, and he's able to make an incredible adjustment just to place it around Dusty Hoodick. Look at the ball right here. It just gets dropped away. Rather than trying to beat two, three players, he recognizes the space between the keeper and the back line. Hudak is off his line about five, six yards. You get that clairvoyant pass from Jaime Moreno right there. There's the far post. Great precision, big goal. And that's the way you want to open up this cup match. It certainly is. You see Santino Cuarenta take quite a spill there in the 18. He remains down. Well, could have been a yellow. Here's a great chance for Charleston. Chris Williams, oh, he's tied it! He's onside, and it's 1-1. Fuller and Williams combining. And there's an incredible response right here. You see the direct play. They're very good at switching the diagonals on both sides. They look for the speed of Williams. Great first time cutback, and he's gonna drop it right here. Fuller is one of the players that can strike well from long range. Here he's inside of the box, he arrives perfectly. You see the timing of following this cutback. Great first touch, he has a view of the movement of Fuller and he just strikes it low and drives it at that near post. Creighton can't get on, he's going the wrong way. Big goal for Charleston. He had fall to Lazo Alavagna's feet. When they do that, good things happen. Yes, they do. Thank you, Steve. Here's Brian Naboff. Member of DC United since 2001. Sims. That's all the way through to Fred. Onside. Fred! Yeah! Charleston put their guard down. 50th minute. Welcome back, Fred. DC in front. Well, there's a fantastic splitting pass right here. Give credit. To Clyde Slim. Zim, look at this. He's leaning back. And it gets let go from Santino Cuaranta. Fred's on his way one-on-one. -on -one. He just waits till the last minute. And Hudak does well to come down and force him. But Fred just very cool, composed, fantastic finish at the near post. And he's got the celebration of Alessandro Pato showing the heart. What a sound. Go to sound. Hard runs coming at the near post. A lot of follow-through. Low ball by Alavagna. Not a good ball. And Spicer tried to pick it up. Back in Wilson. Kenga. Plenty of red in front, but the flag goes up. The flag is up on Marco Reda, and that might be that. Uh, the assistant referee put that up early before he broke through the middle. You see Creighton's down. Reda may have given him a, a shot to the stomach on the way out. Not much of one, but Creighton getting his money's worth. It was a poor service from the right side, but the second ball just got away and escaped from the breakout from D.C. You'll see right here. And a nice, interesting flick. Look at the first time touch. Oh, I don't you know. Got two, three players. It looked like he was on. I thought he did that last little step on the last touch. That's a really tough call to make. Regardless, D.C. are the 2008 U.S. Open Cup champions hanging off the stern test from the Charleston Battery who put up the barriers, no doubt, on this day. Fell behind once, but did not have the firepower to come back a second time. Well, they played a great 90 minutes tonight. They can walk with their head high, the way they responded after the first goal. And we saw some great performances. Fuller with a fantastic goal. Alavagna, who for me was the best player on Charleston tonight. He really took it to DC, but just too much quality with Jaime Moreno, Marcelo Gaixado, and particularly Fred.
Fred, probably the MVP in our eyes. We have a great post game coming up, but for more on what's ahead with some interviews downstairs, let's send it down to Steve Bell. Fred apparently enjoying it more than most. Just about everyone on the platform. And finally, to the crowning achievement, U.S. Soccer President Sunil Galante will award the 2008 Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup Championship Trophy to D.C. United and their captain, Jaime Moreno. And Jaime Moreno lifts the Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup. D.C. United, the 2008 champions. They certainly had to fight to the end. At halftime, it was 1-1. Charleston had the momentum, but Fred made the difference early on in the second half to make sure that this moment would be secure for Jaime Moreno. As he will Chang in the background there, he's happy. Victor McFarland, both those owners have come in and maintained, if not pushed the standard higher for DC. I know it was difficult to lose Christian Gomez. For me, one of the best players in the league still today, but they went out, got Marcelo Gaixado, Fantastic play. You saw that tonight when he was introduced in the second half. Give credit as well to Dave Casper. He's reinforced the team with Ivan Guerrero, Joe Vide, and this team starting to push forward and play good football. It's a long time since they've been in this situation. Defeated Rochester in 96, losing finalists to Dallas. DC United on top of cup play in 08. Let's send it back down to...